What is going on everybody? Chris Edlin here with CL Fish Bro again and today we are going to be painting up another walleye pattern that I really like to use at night. This again was created by a friend James Trujillo and this is my kind of take on recreating his bait. So let's get started. We as always are going to go with a white base coat. I've already applied that here. Again light colors, two dark colors and for this bait I want to add a pearlized white to the belly of the bait. It's really going to Kind of fire up the characteristics of the perch and so we are going to go ahead and load pearlized white into the airbrush and flip the bait a little bit vertical so that we have easier access to the belly and i'm just going to start spraying up and down the bait again you're not going to see a huge color change until afterwards which you'll get kind of a sheen to the bait once it dries next step we're going to add some yellow i want to go just kind of behind the head and almost to the end of the tail this is just kind of adding some yellow to kind of the side of the bait. I think it gives it a little more flair, a little more color. Um, again, I didn't create it, but I think it looks awesome. So um, I'm just kind of highlighting the yellows right there on the side of the bait. And then we're going to go ahead and finish on the other side. So at this point, we have the yellow on the side of the bait. And now I'm going to add a pearlized lime green pretty much all down the back on the top side of the body. So we're going to spray at a lower PSI and I'm just going to spray all the way down. You'll notice this color does not change the bait very much. And in this next frame, there it is all put together. So it did not change the color very much, just added a little bit of green to it, a little bit of shine, and that'll really pop once we add the next color. So now following kind of the light to dark colors, we're going to add some transparent red to the tail here. It's actually going to come out maybe a little bit of an orangish color. Um, but just adds a little bit of flair to the bait. I don't know what your guys' experience is with red tails, but I've had a lot of success using that on my baits at night. So at this point, I want to take a couple seconds to explain some things. Um, I've actually already sprayed the perch stripes, which you can see in the vampire perch video. It's just basically taking a comb and some masking tape so you can get those even lines. Uh, but I usually don't go dark colors to light colors, but you can see now there's black on the bait. I'm doing this because we're going to highlight the back of this bait with a dark hunter's green. A lot of times you can use the dark colors kind of interchangeably, so I went ahead and sprayed the black stripes, cleaned out the airbrush, and now I'm using a hunter green on the back of the bait. So you'll watch here, this really brings the life to the whole entire product here. So just kind of start at the head there, low PSI, work your way back. Cover that part of the tail on the top uh, that you painted red and you will have a really, really good looking bait coming out. Uh, so adding a little bit of black for highlight and that is pretty much it. I want to take it to post and show you guys what this bait looks like after all the glitter and things are on. So you'll notice here I've actually glittered the back with a black glitter, put on the Devcon 2 Ton epoxy and the underside of the bait has a silver glitter on it. I think that all really blends well together and creates a nice looking bait. So that is pretty much the finished product. You'll notice the eyes are orange. Those are glow eyes. So those will light up at night. The tail is not glow. Obviously we use regular paint for that, but you could also interchange the tail with maybe a glow color to make it pop even more. And that's basically the bait guys. I cannot wait to rig some hooks onto these and get out fishing them. I think they turned out really well. If you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to make sure I get back to each and every one of you. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. We'll see you next time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and click this button on the right and help us reach a thousand subs. And when we do, I'm definitely gonna be fishing in a T-Rex costume. You also have access to subscriber giveaways, and I try to reply to any comments you post below the videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on CO Fish Bro.